In today's video, I'm going to be sharing a Goodwill haul with y'all. Uh, if you're watching today's video, definitely hit that subscribe button. You're getting a sneak peek of a room I recently redid. I will be releasing this video in the coming weeks. Uh, it's my sunroom slash mudroom, and I just gave it a little rehaul, refresh for the upcoming warmer weather here. So if you like videos like that, I do decorating, hauls, healthy cooking videos, and lifestyle videos, definitely make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out. And without further ado, let's get started. So I just released a dining room makeover video and I found a china cabinet from Goodwill. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it up above for y'all. Make sure you check that one out after this video. The, the china cabinet was such a good price, I couldn't let it up. It matches one of my other furniture pieces in my dining room perfectly. So I knew I had to bring it home. Uh, everything else you're gonna see in this video is gonna be brand new. Well, not brand new, it's secondhand, it's from Goodwill. But nothing else has been featured in a video, just the china cabinet. First thing I saw when I went in there was this beautiful metal star. I love finding things in the metal and the wood section. This was $2.99. It's super lightweight and somewhere here it opens up. So you could probably put like a solar light. Oh, a solar light. Um, not really sure how a candle would stay in there, but it's very lightweight. I might actually hang it up in this room or my front porch. So stay tuned where I end up styling this. But I was impressed with how lightweight this was. And if you're not familiar, I uh, am originally from uh, outside of Philadelphia and my husband is from Allentown, Pennsylvania. And there's a town up uh, in, near Allentown in Northeast Pennsylvania called Bethlehem. And they, ha um, are, they have a big Moravian population there. And there's these beautiful Moravian stars that they would sh sell in the gift shops up there. So I instantly thought of those beautiful stars that I always dreamed of owning when I saw this one and I knew I had to pick it up. And for $2.99, you can't beat that. Also in the homeware section, I found this gorgeous, gorgeous neutral vase. This vase is actually from Crate and Barrel. And to be a little bit more specific, it's from the Leanne Ford collection from Crate and Barrel. It was $3.99 and I just could not get over it. I'm sure this went for at least $40 at Crate and Barrel. So right next to that vase, I found this other vase, you'll see this one's a matte vase. This one's a little bit more shiny. They look beautiful together, two different shapes, nice heavy weight. This one was $2.99. That'd be a nice bud vase. And this is actually from Magnolia. So someone bought this at Target or here in Texas. It has a list price of $16, but something tells me that it probably costs more than that but so happy to find these items. I may style them in this room. All right, so something that I've been needing for a while is an ironing board. And I came across this small one. This is probably what you would use for a dorm room or an apartment, but I needed something because I don't always use my steamer. And this was $4.99. So probably half the price of what I would have paid for this brand new but I'm just gonna keep tuck this into my laundry room right here. And it does come with a little hanger. Another houseware item that I found was this tiered tray. Looks like this was from uh, Home Goods, somewhere like that. Th retailed for $13, but I picked it up for $3.99. It's a little bit tarnished, but actually now that I'm taking it out of the bag, I think I might just keep this as is. Uh, I may end up spray painting this black, but I don't know. Um, I like that there's an uh, indentation to the tray here, so it's not just flat. Nice heavy weight. This will be perfect for entertaining or just styling. Speaking of entertaining, I've mentioned a couple of times on my channel that I am in the process of planning for a Cinco de Mayo party. It'll actually be the day before because that's when the Saturday is. But I knew I needed, I have two crock pots, one of them's big and one of them's small, 
and I knew I wanted to grab another one and I actually found a crock pot brand crock pot <laughs> and this was $6.99 looks like it's in great condition it even still has the the manual inside so I guess I should probably plug this in to make sure it works but this is uh, one and a half to three and a half quart crock pot. So for $7, I probably paid a third, if not a quarter of the price for this. The main section I always check in when I'm in Goodwill is going to be the, the cookware section. I'm always on the lookout for, um, Pyrex pieces. This first piece is actually a Corningware piece. Nice size bowl here, but I found basically a matching Pyrex dish. This is a two quart dish, perfect bowl to put some fruit in for the summer, for a party. And then I also found another Pyrex bowl. This one has the gorgeous ribbed detail and it has a lid. So perfect for entertaining. So happy to have picked up all three pieces so it can be a little matchy. I can pair this up with some of the other wood and white um, entertaining options that I have. If anyone knows, please let me know. Can I put this in the oven if I wanted to? It says no range top, no bro broiler. So I'm assuming I can put it in the oven and the microwave and dishwasher. Um, please let me know down in the comments below so I don't ruin this. But I love collecting vintage py Pyrex uh, bowls. Someday I hope to have a beautiful display to display it all. And the last section, I don't generally sh uh, shop around for clothing at Goodwill. Don't get me wrong, I've bought clothes there in the past, but it's just too time consuming to sift through everything and try and find something in my size. But I decided I'd take a peek at the dress section and I found this gorgeous blue maxi dress and it's actually j crew i got it in a medium i probably could have went with a small but again you can't be picky when it comes to sizes here it's 100 percent cotton so the perfect um, material for the summer weather also for my cinco de mayo party i wanted to look for a, a casual dress that i could wear and i wanted it in the color red and i came across this very lightweight shift dress. It's not form-fitting at all. It has a metal zipper and I really like the cutout shoulder detail there. All of these dresses were $7.99 and this is by a brand called Speechless. I'm not sure where that's from but it's like a nice lightweight gauzy material. Perfect for the summer weather. And I really liked this dress. I don't have too many dresses that have sleeves but it's a very um, stretchy material. Uh, this is by Max Studio. I think I've seen that brand at Marshalls. Hoping I can get some use out of this. I like the print on this. I think it's nice and I, I like the detail around the collar there. All right, guys, that does it for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you do and want to stick around for more so you can see the redo of this room I'm in, definitely hit the subscribe button. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. I've gotten quite a few subscribers in the recent weeks, and I wanted to thank each and every one of y'all for subscribing, commenting, and sharing, liking my videos. It really means a lot. Uh, you're helping to make my dream come true, and I appreciate you, and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, y'all.